welcome back to Gwim Sly Adventures Part 7. And that is a really creepy tiger. I don't want to look at it. That's nice. But we must progress. Man, that tiger. That's just freaking demonic. It's like, seriously, he is possessed by corn. Ugh. Alright, let's get into it. Hell yeah. Nice. Okay. Ah. Oh. The palace. India. It took some detective work, but uh, the I said it in the last part, I think, but I would never want to go to India. To I'm a winter person, and it's too bloody hot. I'd die. It's summer here in New Zealand at the moment. Into the thriving center of his spice Probably. Operation. Some of you know that, some of you don't. We'll find him. And it's like 28 degrees, and it's so bloody hot. The jungle, too thick uh, to especially as my job as a park ranger and, to our um, during the day. And you have to, you know, working outside and stuff, we it's just a few boiling hot. Way, <laughs> He's boiling in the quicksand. Just boiling hot, and I think if I went to India or For something like that, I'd probably actually just die. Alright, the clockwork heart. Also, just a little... I'm... I've decided so that I, I niggle and add too many negative things into this game to try and get some, Good you know, Jean, but critical credibility in when I'm doing these playthroughs as opposed to just, you know, on that jerking off the franchise tonight, all the time. But I've decided to stop doing that from this part onwards because Sly Cooper and the gang in The Predator Awakens. Hold it. Yeah, well, I've decided to stop doing that and just enjoy my favorite game series of all time. So let's get into it. Okay. Loading. All right. Let's see what we can do on FIFNet. Oh yes, um, before someone actually calls it out originally, let me say this is not the playthrough you've been seeing the whole t all the time. This is in fact my hidden speedrun playthrough. If you're wondering what the hell that is, I recorded this part a couple of we a week ago actually, and I forgot to hook up my microphone, so I had no the audio. I had audio, but it was fucking atrocious, and I couldn't hack it. So I quickly, I had a spare save, which was halfway through Paris, when, which was the last time I fucked up. And I quickly and panically ran through um, the entire, well, half of Paris and half of, oh, and all of, I should say, a stray-eyed encounter in 37 minutes. And it brings us to here. So yeah. I actually have two playthroughs of this game. One is the one that you guys see, and the other is this hidden speed run that I do whenever I fuck it up. Which I must admit, doing like a whole mission and a half in 37 minutes I'm, was actually quite impressive. I reckon if I did it properly, I could do a full speed run of this game in two hours. Which we might actually see at some point eventually. But yeah, just before you wonder why I don't have as many gadgets or money or um, clue bottles as I did in the other parts, it's because this isn't actually the original video. This is my hidden speedrun video. Alright, but once I've done this part, we will return back to where I left off last time, because as big fans of this game will know, unfortunately you cannot go back once you do a mission. There is no backtracking unless you start the game again. So if I ever, ever fuck up a recording, like I do constantly because I'm a noob at this shit, and I've only been doing it a few months, um, uh, pardon me, I have to quickly jump to this account. Alright. But with that being said, let's go. Enough talking about editing and videos and things, let's get back into it. Haha. -ha. Oh, I remember this part. This part used to, or this thing, used to cause me so much trouble when I originally played this. Because this room was so confusing to my little pea brain at the time. Okay. Should get you up there. Alright, I'll head for the top. Exactly, that's a good statement. I'll head for the top. Something all business people should aspire to. Without, you know, fraud and IRD and all that stuff killing you. Die. Oh, damn it. Alright, I can take him now. I can take him. I am sly. Oh, double kill. 
I am Sly Cooper, and you will face my mighty cane of wrath. Is it wrath or wrath? I can never. Oh shit! Ugh. I'm going to not niggle, but I always insisted in every Sly game that the flashlight guards are too bullshit with their knockdown attacks. But yeah, oh well. And uh, yep, just water your nice drugs. You know what? Fuck your drugs. Fuck your drugs. I'd take a shit on them if I knew how. All right. I must admit the I might the architecture to say turning an ancient, outdated temple. Ooh, that's what we're after. Um, ooh, camera angle, camera angle. Oh. But you're turning an outdated temple into a drug thing is actually pretty ingenious. You got to admire it. Well, you, you shouldn't admire it because they're drug dealers, but you got to admire the creativity that went into it. I mean, not many people, unless you're in a James Bond movie or, you know, you're in, you know, like a Saturday morning cartoon villain, hide out in ancient jungle temples nowadays. Oh, very nice. Oh, keep that pose. Yeah. That's probably the most dignified picture of one of the main antagonists I've ever taken. Clock works hard. Nice. Well, so I don't know why you'd use it for that purpose. I would think of a lot of different things I'd use the heart for, um, personally. But, oh well. I suppose pumping fertilizer onto your drugs is something you can use it for. Irrigation system. Don't know why he has the rest of it on his thing, though. I'm just going to take that photo because I find it amusing. Um, but why do you use the heart on the stick? I mean, shit, it would hurt a lot. And considering the like, alloys and metals it's made of, it would probably dent steel. But I do wonder what it was. Okay. We we'll really need, need to think about on this one. one. Well, I don't know, Benley. I mean, well, personally, for some strange reason, I always found that this level, like, um, a Predator Awakens is actually the hardest in the game, believe it or not. I know some people will argue that the last one is, but by the last level, you, you've got the hang of all the mechanics and the controls, and you're in the zone. When I'm playing it, I'm in the zone, and I just take shit apart. But in this one, it's got some really difficult missions, really hard turret sections, really annoying tailing missions. And it's actually quite difficult. Alright. But, difficult is can actually be good. Oh, a wooden satellite. Interesting. <laughs> I can see Sly in that picture there. <laughs> Who took the picture of Sly's up there? <laughs> That's funny. Uh, Alright. What are we going to do now? Uh, I don't like either of these missions. These missions are probably... Now this one, the elephant one is alright. That one is bullshit by so many encounter levels. Though I know it well enough now that I, I'm not worried about it. But when I first played it, it was such bullshit. Alright. Our... Oh no. Well, he's listening to this conversation. Quick. That's pretty grim. You got a plan for Quick. Down? If he's listening to our conversation... Drugs. Yeah. Okay, so it's like meth. Keep that stuff away from Fucking great. So. Oh, wait, wait, I get it. I put some oh no! Don't do that. No, come on. You're going to drug a poor innocent elephant with illegal shit that will make it insane. Dude, what the fuck, Bentley? That's not cool. Not cool. I love elephants, they're my favourite animal. And now you're... And you want me... This poor innocent elephant forced to be a slave to pull this stupid antenna. And your great plan for freeing it is opposed to... Damn it. Damn it. Go away, guard. I'm trying to talk about this elephant. I'm just trying to talk about this elephant. Alright, well, let's, let's jump up here. Here we go. Okay. This poor innocent elephant forced to be a slave to drive the satellite array. And instead of cutting the ropes, or smashing it up with explosives, your plan is to force feed it dangerously, highly illegal, psychotic, rage-inducing drugs. That's pretty fucked. 
I'm gonna do it because it's the mission, and I can't say no, but it's pretty fucked, Bentley. I mean, come on. It's a poor innocent elephant, and you want me to drug it. Jeez, I wonder what would happen if you ended up coming across a stray kitten. You'd probably force feed it anthrax or some shit, you perverted fuck. Yeah, I'm gonna smash on your roof, Bentley, you dick. Alright, with the animal cruelty aside, and the fact that Bentley is a massive twat, I suppose we better get these drugs. That's pretty sad. Poor elephant. Spice plant. <laughs> uh, they should just say, well, it's it's a kid's game. I think this is actually meant to be for like 12 and 13 year olds, but it's still my favorite game anyway. But, yeah, do I always found it amusing that they call drugs spice. Just one of those little things. Alright, oh yeah, the other plants are over there. So, I suppose we should make, work our way over there. Shh. I am a shadow. I am Sly Cooper. I'm not going to get out of this one. Oh, I managed to get out of that one. Haha, <laughs> I'm a master thief. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, I must think, um, I think Master Thief today wouldn't look like this. I think Master Thieves probably are just, um, you know, hackers, basically, because you hack money out of people's accounts, or you run massive con scams. I don't think there are any true Master Thieves left, sadly, which I find pretty unusual. Oh my god! <clears throat> Sorry about that, there was a courier at the door. I know, I really need to have more discipline and mic discipline and stuff when I do this, but I'm the only one home at the moment, so I have to go out to the door. That and I, for some reason, I know it probably irritates the crap out of you guys, um, but I like to think that whenever I do an audio fuck up or a video fuck up or have to go out in the door, it actually explains to you that I actually am a real person as opposed to a um, let's play generator like a computerized let's play generator with a quirky personality and it demonstrates real world issues or at least that's the garbage I'm going for to justify it but whatever you want to do to justify it um, works fine for me alright let's get back to getting these bloody drugs uh, look his, his face right there just perfectly illustrated it <laughs> it's just like, yup. Also, for the uninitiated, they want, they, they expect you to pad out the left mission length, jump down, run back, climb up here. But if you just keep circle jumping up and around, you can easily get back up these slippery things because you actually gain more momentum than you lose. Dun 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 dun. Alright. Hmm. Hmm. Bum 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 bum. Bottom, bottom, and here, we smack, alright, weehee, I must think, this is probably one of the more vertic, verticular, 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 fuck it, one of the more up and down levels I quite like, like there's more areas to climb and explore, and stuff like that when you play it, which I quite like, because in, like the Canadian ones, there's own there's, you know, they're quite flat terrain, which I find interesting. Oh, I did miss one over there. I knew there was always a reason I went over to that side of the map. Shh. Ugh. Dead. <laughs> oh, hired goons are like Nazis. You can gun and Japanese in World War Two. You can gun down as many hundreds of them as you want, and you don't have any stain on your conscience. And the fact that this is, this is a cartoony sort of style game makes there even less thing. Oh, I'm gonna grab that. I'm gonna grab that later on. Hey, it's not just because I know you have to grab that as part of a mission. I just want to grab that anyway. Any reason why I want to steal a massive diamond off in front of a decorative pyramid? Well, it's not a pyramid. We're not in Egypt, are we? We're in India. It's like an ancestral. It's a temple palace thing. I don't really know if there's any words for temple palace thing. Alright. 
I am a shadow. Oh, he didn't even notice. And now he dies. <laughs> and that's all I w I've established it before, but it's a pretty sucky way to die. First, your neck, like, grab you by the back of the neck and pulls you up. Probably slits your throat right there, because the inside of that thing is, is like, sharp. It's a razor-sharp inside of the cane. And you've got the hook in, and if the hook drives into your neck, then you're definitely and automatically fucked. Then it, like, brings it up into the air, which probably breaks your neck with the momentum of it, and then smashes your skull against the pavement or the hard ground, and that's just like, oh god! <laughs> like, I think Sly's a pretty brutal asshole. I know all of them have their own unique ways of, like, the Cooper ancestors have their, each their own unique way of an on the square triangle combo, which you, you will see when I do my Sly 4 playthrough after I do my Sly 3 and my Sly 1 playthroughs, because Sly 4 has a lot of shit I want to talk about, and I don't think it's and it's worthy of having a bit more experience behind me in the Let's Play department before I attempt it. Alright. I'm sorry, Elephant. I'm sorry. Oh, poor thing. And look, all he does is rip off the ropes. We could have cut those ropes. And then he runs off. Poor thing. I hope you are safe in the wild, little Elephant. And yes, I know it's a, it's a game. But I like elephants, so screw you guys and your realism. Alright. Aha! Uh -huh. And... Hey! It's just jumping inside the building and the guards forget you're there. <laughs> Look, the guy, that guy was shaking his head like, I'm sure there was something I was supposed to be doing. Shh! He doesn't see up above him. And now you will never see anything again. Ha <laughs> ha And up. Up. And away we go. Oh yes, we're going to do Water Bug Run. Which, by the way, is one of the most fuck-off missions I've ever had to do when I first played this game. This mission could piss off. And it could suck a dick. And then it could suck a second dick. In fact, it could probably deal suck dicks if it wanted to and I will and the game will explain why and then I will explain why all right first thing let us here to some drab into in exposition god my brain is so fried today it's probably the heat instead of just using a bug yeah even Sly's got the same mindset as I have in a bug his office with a bug what if he squashes it? What if he doesn't want a bug in his office? Your plan makes no sense. Oh. Great. Great. Hmm. Like, there are a few pools along the way to Adrian's office. A short movie now and then should keep our little friend quiet. Yeah. Sounds great in theory. But. When you have to carry this stupid thing, which you cannot cannot take any damage while you're holding, or else you die, you have to run it very fast in between places to place, alerting the guards along the way, then you have to dump it in the pool, fight off the guards, making sure the guards don't kill the little shit while it's in the pool, then grab it, then run it to the next pool, which is just in there, um, oh, while being chased by guards again, is just awful. I mean, if they added a timer to this mission, it would have been the biggest fuck you would ever. But now it's just irritating anyway, because look, I have to quickly dump it in the pool, fight off these guards. Look, now there's two of them. Yeah. Now, now there's three of them, and I have to make sure that no, nothing hits the stupid bug. It's pretty annoying. But I said I will stop bitching at the beginning of this part, and I will try and endeavor to do that. But imagine to a first-time player who doesn't know this map very well, doesn't know the levels, doesn't know exactly where these hidden snakes are and where the pools are all located. It would be a nightmare. And I kind of... And that's why it was a nightmare for me. So I'm kind of sympathetic to... 
um, people who never like this level. Uh, oh, God sake. Uh, off the cliff. Off the cliff. Okay. Now the next one is just over there. However, I happen to know there are two guards doing patrols there. One guard doing patrol there. So I will probably be alerting them. But do not worry, be a good sir. I could walk it, but the thing is, it only has a, like, if you dally too long, the bug gets alerted and, it, and alerts you to their presence, and you fail the mission. So you cannot, you cannot actually walk or stealth it. This is literally a run and gun mission, which is annoying. All right. Let's wait for the Mr. Elephant to go past. Poor elephant. Wonder if it's happy. Also, it, it doesn't seem happy. The way it's like dragging its poor trunk along the ground. I am sorry, poor elephant. Also, this guard shouldn't be here. This is gonna fuck everything up. Uh, uh, oh, master gameplay skills. I'm just a master at this game. See? Right there. If it if had gone on for any longer, I would have lost the mission. So, yeah. You can see why it gets annoying. Right, and this... Right, having force flashlight guards nearby where you want uh, really gets annoying. I have to kill you. Ah, now, a trick for anyone who wants to play this game, a little hint, a walkthrough if you will. Now, you want what the game wants you to do is take the bug, go all the way around the edge, up the cliff, along the side, climb up the wall, and dump it into that pool. Now... If you do it perfectly, you just manage to make it before the bug um, game overs you. Because it's like, it's just the perfect time length. But what you do is you don't do that because it's stupid. You do this. Come up to the side, jump up onto there. Run up, fill that in there. Kill the guard because he'll annoy you otherwise. Oh, I was hoping he fell off the edge. Nope, yep, like that. And you grab the bug again. And you run into his office. See? And that's what you do. So, for anyone who ever struggles with that mission, which I don't blame you for the first playthrough, because it's very annoying, um, that's all you need to do. Also, I do like the wall left, the floor laser security, but maybe some on the wall would be better. <sighs> oh, thank heavens. Alright. Dun, 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 dun. Well, I think we should ransack his office and then call it apart. So yeah, let's let's be subtle master thieves. Let's leave the office exactly the way we found it. I mean, I found it in a complete mess. What do you think? I think you'll agree with me. Stupid bug. Stupid bug. Oh well, let's go outside. Alright. I think that's all we need to do for today. Oh yep. Loading. Here we go. Oh, I better kill you. And dead. Alright. So, yeah. Let's just get a nice shot. So, yeah. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Next time, you will see the part where I've got all of the items and the upgrades and the money. Um, this is just my s hidden speed run playthrough. So, yeah. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoy it. And even if you didn't, I hope you will enjoy it. Or you get brainwashed into enjoying it by the hypnotic messages I've been implanting throughout the course of these videos. And I will see you all again another time.